My fucking moment was okay on the show. They played this thing. Uh, they played this. I was I was I was new to you know being on the show. It was actually my first scene on Love and Hip Hop, and um, they was like, "Oh, go out there!" And I was so nervous. And it was like, "Go out there and sing." And I was like, "Louis Prada Gucci," you know. I didn't know any better. I didn't know what I was. I was just so nervous. And that fucking, that moment was my fucking moment because that literally, oh my gosh, it held me down and made me go in the closet and cry. Like, I didn't want to come outside. Um, but now I can say that I got a number one on the charts. I, that fucking moment really held me back a lot. I was like, I'm never doing music in it. I'm never doing this. I'm never doing that. And I did music. I just did it. In, without anyone knowing. I, I put something out, but I would take it down. I would, because I just, it was just so heavy for me. And I got into a real, real bad depression moment because of that. But I came out of it and look, I got a number one. The song is called Work and Work is number one on the iTunes charts in the reggae, on reggae, um, on reggae iTunes charts. And it's like, I saw something Pandora posted that it's a top 100 on Pandora list. If I was to talk to the young Carly Red, I would say stop wasting time hanging out with negative friends, uh, negative energy, partying. And if I would have not like done half the shit that I was doing in my younger age, like partying and hanging out and just thinking that, oh, hanging out with the negative friends and I would be so much further. I would be so much further if I would have just focused when I was younger. The biggest misconception of Carly Red is that I'm messy. I literally have my friends back and that's what it is. I'm so focused on being, when I go home at night, I'm so focused, I don't hardly sleep. Um, I don't care about eating. I really just want to work. And I guess that's why the name of my song is called Work. Okay, cool. A memorable career moment, because this is a memorable career moment right now, being that my song Work is number one. A memorable career moment is... I won a lot of awards for being an actress. Um, got a Diamond Award. I got... I have... We have an MTV award. I have an MTV award. I have an MTV award in my house. A lot of people don't get those. I don't know a lot of people that have those. And I actually have one in my restaurant too. I, I copied it. You know, I got the real one in my house. <laughs> the real gold one. It's heavy as it's heavy. I have the real heavy one in my house, the real one, and then I have the fake one in my restaurant. I and I'm nominated for MT we got nominated again. So yeah, that's a memorable moment I would say in my career. The biggest lesson I've learned so far in my journey that I can share with you is um be careful what I do because everyone's watching me. So, you know, I can't hang out with friends that do drugs and, you know, anymore because people are watching me. I got to Kids are watching me and people watching. So yeah, that's the biggest. The pros and cons of social media for me is I could go live and they would like take a little bit of what I said and make it, I could say, oh, damn, I don't have my, I don't have no money to go to the store right now. My, my wallet is home. I don't have no money to go to the store right now would be taken as, oh, Carly's broke. I was saying I don't have my wallet. They won't, they will not, they won't post that. They will post, I don't have no, you know what I mean? So that's the, yeah, that's so, I got to be careful. <laughs> hey, what's up guys? It's your girl Carly Red and you're checking out 247HH.com, period.